Hello and good afternoon everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon of video update for Thursday, January 19th. We are in the aftermath phase of our latest storm system that continues to spin its way further east towards the Great Lakes region. Did have to deal with some strong and gusty winds along our I-80 and 25 wind prone areas this morning, but those have since died down and the uh, gusty winds blowing snow and very slick road conditions will be starting to improve as they are this afternoon and continue to do so tonight and into Friday. Those winds will be light to breezy. We do expect a few mountain snow showers to develop during the overnight night. Those will shift south along and south of Interstate 80, mostly affecting some of the higher elevations overnight and during the day Friday. Temperatures going to be on the chilly end of the spectrum into the rest of the work week and for the next several days. It's all part of a colder and somewhat active weather pattern that's going to persist well into next week. Here's the afternoon water vapor imagery across the lower 48. Here we have our beautiful state of Wyoming. Our latest storm system that came through yesterday and midweek is now moving off towards the Great Lakes, affecting Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and the surrounding states. Meanwhile, we did have a weak ridge of high pressure build in for today. It's going to get quickly squeezed out by our next trough that's digging south over the western United States. It's going to provide some lift and energy for our western mountains and valleys. That will lead to a chance for some evening and overnight snow showers. We're not expecting much. Many areas just going to get a little bit of a dusting, maybe up to a half inch in the lower elevations. Some of our mountain passes, including South Pass, Togety Pass, and Teton Pass may get a trace to perhaps an inch or two. During that time, winds should remain on the light side, and areas that don't get the snowfall could get some valley and basin fog into the overnight hours and through daybreak on Friday. As for the rest of the state, Looking to be dry and cold, winds again light to breezy in the overnight, and that could support the chance for some areas of overnight fog reforming, especially in portions of far east central Wyoming. During the day Friday, most areas dry. We do still expect a few morning snow showers in the western mountains and valleys. Those will start to drift south and southeast as our next area of low pressure makes a beeline towards the four corners. Much of the energy going to stay well south into central and southern Colorado, but a few areas along and south of I-80 could get clipped with a few light flurries in the afternoon. Otherwise, again, looking mainly dry and chilly with light to breezy winds. For road and travel impacts tomorrow, we're going to still going to have some moderate ones in the far southeast that got affected most by our latest storm. Morning slick roads and black ice will eventually turn widely scattered with slick areas and spots. As for the rest of the state, roads on the plains mainly dry and favorable, a few leftover wet to slick spots. And again, with those remnant snow showers, we could see a few slick areas in our western mountain passes and higher elevation roadways. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. Have yourself a fantastic Thursday. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.